Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had to do this intro vlog style because I am running all kinds of late for work, but <laughs> anyways. Today's video is gonna be super quick on this lavender eye look. So if you are interested, then just keep on watching. All right, so today is another one of those days where I'm getting ready for work. So I didn't really have time to do my whole little setup by my window like usual. So we're at my vanity. My foundation, concealer, brows, powder, all that good stuff is already done. So we are going straight in with the eyes. So let me bring you guys close. So to start, I'm just gonna be taking this NYX Vivid Brights Cream Color. This is in the shade, what is this, Sugar Rush? I love lavender so much. It is the color of my nails right now. So cute. All right, so just taking my finger, I'm just going straight in and I'm just gonna apply that on my eye. These cream colors from NYX are so pigmented. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw down the base on both eyes right now. All right, now I'm just gonna blend that out. Of course, this is gonna be very sloppy before it starts to look good. All right, as I started to film, someone immediately began cutting their grass. So now that I've blended this out, I'm actually just gonna finish up this eye over here and I will be right back. All right, so this eye over here is done for now. I'll put some mascara and all that stuff on later, but I'm just gonna go in with this color here. This is a little quad that I made like years ago with MAC. I cannot remember the color of this, but when I figure it out, I have to like take it out of the pan and see the color. I'll let you guys know. But I'm just gonna go in with that same Real Techniques brush and set the base with this color. So now taking the James Charles and Morphe palette, I'm gonna take this color right here and pick up just a little bit of that and gently build up the color on the inside and the outside. The mattes in this palette are so pigmented that you really do not need to pick up a lot. Like don't, don't go in. And then again, taking a little bit of that color and going right on the inside here. And I'm keeping the center completely untouched by this darker purple because I do want that halo effect. All right, and then going back in with that lavender, I'm just gonna go over top and really brighten that center. All right, now taking this little liner brush here and going back in with the NYX cream color. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and actually put it right under here. And I'm doing this so that the shadow can have the same color payoff on the lower lash as it is on the top as well. And then I'm just gonna blend this out with this very random Sonia Kashuk flat fluffy brush here. All right, and taking that same dark purple from the James Charles palette, I'm just gonna go on the outer end and just buff this color in. I'm just gonna keep it a little bit darker on the outer end here. Okay, I went ahead and put on mascara and lips because now I'm running late for work, but real quick, I'm actually gonna take this Makeup Forever Pencil in Boundless Bisque, I think that's the name, yeah, and run this in my waterline. I'm definitely gonna pick up the Aqua liner from Makeup Forever. They have a lavender one. That would have been perfect for this look. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this five minute lavender look. I've been really inspired by lavender. I don't know why, like, I had to have the nail color. It's on my toes too. I've been wearing lavender looks left and right. Like, I've worn this look or a variation of it at least three times. And yeah, I don't know. I just felt colorful today. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my other videos while you're here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Really? Oh my God. This person has been cutting their grass for like, five hours. Like literally every time I start talking, they begin again. <laughs>